What's up everybody? Welcome to another trickingbasics.com tutorial. Today we're going over the butterfly kick. This is one of the easiest tricks in tricking. Um, so don't overthink it, but here's what it is. All right, so let's go over that. Um, basically you want to start out with a nice strong butterfly takeoff. Uh, from there you want to set and then switch your legs at the last minute, making sure that you rotate transversely enough. Let's go over what that means a little bit more in the breakdown. So, uh, I personally start off with all my weight on my rear leg, which is my right leg. From here, I hop, uh, which builds momentum. And I use that momentum to transfer my uh, momentum so that I ro rotate transversely. From here, I lift my leg and my arms and look upwards. Um, so my whole body comes up, then I set, and I wait for about as long as I can, and then I switch my legs. Okay, so wait on the left foot, transfer the momentum, lift, switch, and land. All right, so if you do that all correctly, it should look something like this. All right, awesome. So um, here's a few progressions for you. Uh, to start out, I want to make sure that everyone has their butterfly takeoff nice and powerful. You have two options. You can start with all your weight on one leg and then hop like I've done there. Or you can do um, a more traditional butterfly takeoff, which is essentially just a turning butterfly takeoff. Looks like that. You see it a lot in Wushu. Um, and again, don't overcomplicate it. It's the exact same thing as the hop butterfly takeoff, but you add an extra turn, okay? So 180 degree turn, and from here, I do a 180 degree hop, and then I'm back in the exact same spot as I would be with a normal butterfly, the hop butterfly takeoff, whatever you want to call it, okay? So that there it is. That's the only difference, that little 180 turn. And what this does, uh, the 180 turn, is it creates uh, more transverse rotation, which might be helpful. Um, so here's my little progression for you. It's just vertical beat twist. It's literally just a skip. That's all it is. And then each uh, time you do it, work on get kicking your legs higher and higher and higher. And then once you get to about as high as they can go without dipping your upper body, it's going to look something like this. All right? Good. So now you want to learn how to dip your body. And what this is going to do is this is going to um, keep your upper body out of the way from your lower body, which is going to bring your lower body a little bit higher. So this pretty much looks like a B-twist here. Notice I'm not using my arms. Um, so that's all you really need so long as you uh, are arching your back properly, lifting your head, um, and kicking your leg with enough power. See, the problem is if you, if you, if you dip too low and you don't look up, it's, you're going to do something like that. You're going to fall. And that's not exactly what you want. Once you're comfortable with this, you want to start beginning to use the arms. Um, this is very useful in learning B twists um, in particular. And once you go through this progression, uh, the arms are just kind of like the icing on the cake. Um, and you'll notice you won't have to dip as much um, if you use your arms. And you, um, but just keep that in mind. You have to find that balance between uh, the upper body lift and the lower body lift. You want to find that balance. Uh, if you one's more than the other, it's going to make your B twist, uh, or I'm sorry, B kick, not parallel to the ground, which is what you want. All right, so let's um, go over some uh, little exercises I've got for you here. Just get like a rung or just a wall and work on your back kicks and then jumping like I'm doing here. I think another uh, good idea is to uh, move your legs in circles like I'm doing here um, because that's more, uh, a little bit more similar to an actual B kick. Um, but again, don't ever think of this as a, this tutorial's probably a little bit overdone. Oh, and lastly, make sure you have a nice strong butterfly takeoff. So just practice uh, essentially a butterfly kick without the switch. Um, 
if you're having problems. Don't become dependent on that these uh, these exercises though. Okay, so let's look at some problems we have with the butterfly kick. Um, the switch seems to be uh, the trickiest for some people, um, and I think that's because a lot of people don't understand that you need to rotate transversely. You know, you need to get tabletop rotation um, in order to complete a butter butterfly twist properly. Now watch. Um, I want to make sure that my upper body is turning so that I land with my body facing the way I'm taking off, okay? So I, I want to complete that full rotation. See, I, I barely even jumped on that one, but I, I got a lot of torque out of it, so I was able to do a relatively uh, sloppy butterfly twist. Anyway, so uh, the next problem I see is um, uh, not having a pretty butterfly kick, and... Honestly, this just takes practice um, to have a pretty butterfly kick, like any kick or any trick, really. It takes a lot of practice to uh, make it look good. But one thing I can tell you is uh, make sure to keep your legs straight, point your toes, um, practice your takeoff, make sure you're having enough transverse rotation, um, and also stalling. Stalling is what's going to make your butterfly kick uh, go to the next level. So what I'm doing here so I'm going to stall until as long as I can, and that's when I switch. This is a little a little bit overdone. I'm, I'm trying to make it dramatic here, but I'm trying to stall that butterfly kick as long as I can before consciously putting my leg down. Um, and it almost happens naturally because I stall for so long, My and my uh, my left leg is has been off the ground for so long that my right leg is actually closer to the ground so the switch happens more naturally so it is essentially not being afraid of the butterfly kick also uh, make sure that you are lifting fully arching your back using your arms looking up with your head kicking with a nice straight leg um, so that's essentially what you want to do, lifting with your whole body. Um, I think that's what's going to really help make your butterfly kicks nice and good looking. But I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Here are some angles for you to help you out. Um, I hope this tutorial helped, and thanks for watching.